Doc Jenny. Join us in the Green Hornet as we travel the back roads of beautiful North Idaho. Every day is different, challenging, and never boring as we see all the farm animals, big and small. Hey, you are on the road with Doc Jenny. And we don't just see horses, we see all the big animals. And so today we're being called out to go and look at a sick sheep. And uh, this sheep is part of a larger herd and it is the only one in the herd that's having any troubles, but it's just not doing well. And so they've called us out to see if we can get to the bottom of it. Gladly jump in there if you want, but I know it's not a whole lot of space, so I think we can get it handled in here. And how old is she supposed to be? I believe she's uh, three. I had a birth before. She had two healthy twins last year. Does she eat pretty well? I feel like she's, it, she'll eat, but I feel like she's sort of really picky. Like she doesn't like the alfalfa pellets and we're like, come on, you look like you're starving, girl. Let's, let's yeah. eat some stuff. Um, she ate a whole bunch of the um, sheep mineral, the loose mineral that uh -huh. we had last night. But like with the corn, with the, the pea pellets, we were just trying to give her that because she seemed to prefer it. Well, since this is an individual animal issue, the rest of your animals are nice and healthy. We, we obviously have some kind of a individual disease process going on. Yeah. So I think it would be, especially since we don't want to um, lose the rest of the herd, we need to figure out exactly what's going on with her. So I would recommend pulling some blood and doing some testing on her. Okay. Ovine progressive pneumonia would probably be at the top of my list for okay. kind of a chronic wasting type disease. So yeah. we can try that. Maybe CAE. I don't know. I'm going to actually look through the book and see what else fits the, these symptoms. Because yeah. everything, I mean, she looks, it's definitely not a malnutrition. It's that more that her system, everything's okay. just kind of wasting away. Okay. I think getting some blood on her is definitely the way to go. I do see some, a little bit of puppy diarrhea type. But yeah, she's have. I mean, and it seems within the last week or so, it's been going that way. Mm -hmm. She was having more normal, harder pellets, and okay. now it's more, it's not like liquid, but it's coming out in more of the clumps. Yeah, the clumps. Yeah. yeah. All right, sister. Come on, let's go. Yeah. So I definitely don't think it's anything you guys have done wrong because okay. she's, I mean, look at the rest of your animals and she's got everything here she could possibly need. Yeah, that's So the fact that like... none of this is working <laughs> tells me that we're, the deck is kind of stacked against us. So we just need okay. to figure out what we're fighting here. Okay. So it definitely doesn't look like selenium deficiency. There's no wool break. Her feet look like they're in good shape. Her rumen is working. Just none of the nutrients are getting used in her system. Yeah. So definitely fighting a losing battle here kiddo yeah that's where like why. <laughs> and there may not be anything we can do to yeah to we save understand her too, that so but we need to figure out what it is yep. so that if it's affecting or could possibly affect the rest of your animals yep. for sure all right little girl i'm not going to give you anything right now because i can't think of anything that you don't have here that right. would help you out at all <laughs> that's have a just... plethora of good stuff here baffled yeah definitely not not a super easy, straightforward case. No, and we knew it we're like, obviously putting her down would be the cheapest thing, but we need to know um, yeah, we need to figure out what's, what's going, going on. on. We've been working on this uh, poor sick little sheep. Unfortunately, that sheep did end up passing away and the owners did put her down. So uh, unfortunately in veterinary medicine, it would be nice if we always had answers and if we could always get to the bottom of what is wrong with an animal. And sometimes we just can't. So her blood work actually came back fairly normal, uh, other than signs of malnutrition. And we know that she didn't actually have malnutrition because she had piles of food in front of her all the time. But for whatever reason, her body wasn't able to absorb that nutrition. And so I think that's one of the most frustrating things about veterinary medicine and probably in any medicine in general, is that we're limited on the testing that we can do in a lot of cases because you can't just throw millions of dollars at a sheep looking for an answer. I wish we could, but we can't always do that. So we do the best that we can. Sometimes we don't get any answers and we have to make the decision that's in the best interest of the animal. And in this case, it didn't have a very happy ending. But the good news is that the rest of the herd is doing well and we don't have to worry about there being any diseases that are going to affect the rest of the herd. Thanks for hanging with us today and being on the road with Doc Jenny and we'll catch you next time. Hey everybody! 
Thanks for riding with us in the Green Hornet today. This is Doc Jenny signing out. If you like what you saw, be sure and follow us in the Green Hornet with Tormund out on the road with Doc Jenny. Just click the link below and follow us along on our journeys. See you later.